So today I would like to show you a few ways you can use the Harmony Bloom sequencer with VCVREC. There's also a way you can do this with a free module. This video is not sponsored. No one is paying me. I bought Harmony Bloom at full price, which is actually quite affordable. And I just think it's an interesting sequencer that you might want to combine with VCVREC. Now, there are many videos out there about Harmony Bloom, but in general, it's a MIDI sequencer that allows you to create all sorts of shapes that you can then use to sequence your voices. And of course, the first way you can use it with VCVREC is with the VST version of VCVREC inside a DAW. So if you already own VCV Pro, this can work quite nicely. Now, in my case, I'm using Bitwig, um, but of course, this can work with other DAWs as well. Right, so as you can see, I have here a patch ready. I have a plets or the macro oscillator too, going through a modulated delay or triggered delay. I have here also supercell, which is a granular module. So it will granulize things. Right, and I have Harmony Bloom sequencing it. So if I hit play now, right now Harmony Bloom is sequencing plets inside of VCVREC and again Harmony Bloom will allow us to create all sorts of different shapes so for now this is the shape that I have but of course I can change this can change the speed here right and create all sorts of uh, sorts of shapes and also points that these dots will actually play can change the number of notes Right, add probability, and so on and so forth. A nice thing uh, you can do with it is also um, change it here to trigger mode or transpose mode. Right, and now you can transpose this also with clips here that uh, in the DAW that I have here ready. Right, and again, this will trigger this shape right so again there are many ways of using harmony bloom in this case it's in a daw with vcv pro i have here a few more voices Another way of using Harmony Bloom is with a host module from VCV. This is a commercial module that allows you to load VST instruments, effects, and also sequencers, right? So here I have Harmony Bloom loaded with this shape with some movement. And there is the host CV expander module that gives you access to pitch and gates and velocity, aftertouch clock, and everything you need from a sequencer, right? So if, for example, I send the pitch here and the gates and also velocity right you can see we have 16 channels of polyphony right and then harmony bloom will sequence these voices that i have here i have the fm operator of course with some delay and i have here dark energy with again a clouds clone so it will granulize things a bit Right, now we can also sync Harmony Bloom to a clock. So if I right click one of the slots here, we have here different clock settings. I can choose, for example, 24 PPQN, and then we need to use a clock multiplied by 24. Right, and now it will be synced to the BPM of VCVREC. Right, you can see here 110 and here 110. And also, like we've seen before, also here we can trigger it and sequence it if I change it again to trigger mode or transpose mode. Right, we have here also a CV input and gate, right, so I can use a gate sequencer and a CV sequencer. Right, so again, this works really nicely also with the host module. I'm using the pitch, the polyphonic pitch, also to extract a bass voice with the bass module from Sivli. I have here a few modules from Surge XT. And I'm also using the polyphonic pitch from Harmony Bloom with an arpeggiator. I have here the ARP sequencer 
with two VCO units, some delay. Another way of using Harmony Bloom with VCVREC is by using MIDI clips and this will work for free in VCVREC. I will show you in a second also how. But if you have a Harmony Bloom loaded in your DAW or you are using the standalone version, so you don't even need a DAW to make this work, right? You can extract and save MIDI from Harmony Bloom and then load it in VCVREC again for free. So if I hit play, this is the shape that I have here. Right, again, I'm using Bitwig, but this works also in standalone and with other uh, DAWs. We have here MIDI capture. If I activate this, it will start capturing the notes. Right, if I stop this, if you're in a DAW, you can either drag this and just you have then the MIDI here imported, right, and you can change things and then save it as a MIDI file, or you can just directly, if you can see this here, Right, you can just save the MIDI file to a specific location and then you can load the MIDI file in VCVREC and sequence things. And again, this can work for free in VCVREC with the entry and player melody module, right? This can load MIDI files. Now this is the demo version or the free version of a commercial module. I will show you also in a second. So this is totally free, but in this case, you will not be able to change the notes. So if you're using a DAW, you can change the notes there beforehand. And if not, you can just load it and use it, right? So if you click this window here, you can see this is the entry and player. You cannot edit files, but you can load you can import MIDI files, right? So this is the MIDI file that I saved, right? You can load it. You cannot change the notes. Again, this is the sort of demo version. I will show you the full version in a second, right? So you cannot change the notes, but you can change um, the length, for example. So for example, I can change this to four, right? So you can have a different length. There are other things you can change here, but again, the notes you cannot change. But now you have this MIDI file again from Harmony Bloom loaded. And again, you can use the pitch, you can use the gates, you can use the velocity again polyphonically. Right? So you can save MIDI files in Harmony Bloom and then load them. In VCVREC, again, I have here an FM voice with two FM operators in this case. Right, and again, this is the demo version, so you can still load a MIDI for free, but you cannot change the notes. If you want to have a look at the full version, so this is the full version, the entry and melody module. In this case, I have it again loaded with the same MIDI file, but I made a few changes here. Let me unmute this. Right, so you can move the notes, you can add notes, you can add probability to notes. Right, add probability to the velocity, add all sorts of things. It's really an amazing module. If you're looking for a deep sequencer, a piano roll-like sequencer, there are a few versions, the melody, drums, right, and the whole timeline module that you can explore. But again, this is now the full version, so here I can make also changes to the notes. Right, so I'm just loading the MIDI from Harmony Bloom. Right, I have here also, again, some drums. And of course, this will work with other VST sequencers. If you have a different sequencer you like using, you can sequence VCV with a VCV Pro in a DAW. You can use VCV Host to load this sequencer and sequence things. And again, also you can use and save MIDI files and load them in VCVREC, again, for free with the entry and player melody or with the entry and melody, the full version, then you can make also adjustments. But that was it for today. Thank you again for watching. Cheers.